right hello good evening and welcome to my vlog this is random life productions coming at you from my bedroom i'm using the natural light because it's the best light i think for vlogging today i am going to talk about masking <clears throat> the title of my vlog today was going to be monica mckillicuddy made me do it but then i happened to go into my fame favorite shop of the world poundland and pound world and lo and behold in poundland i found this charcoal clay, clay face mask which absorbs excess oil oils and deeply cleanses the skin and draws draws out deep rooted dirt clay mask for a pound you can't do any better than that can you a pound for a clay mask that is a little bobby bargain Prior to buying that one though, I went to Asda, Asda, which is one of Hayley Louise's favourite shops, Asda. She loves a bit of Asda. And I found this L'Oreal Pure, Pure Clay Glow Mask. That's again, 100 millimetres, 100 millilitres, about four ounces in there. So I'm going to try the more expensive face mask. That was six pounds. And this one was a pound so I'm going to be trying this one first waiting a few days because I don't like putting face masks on so I'll try that next um, <clears throat> either on Sunday or Monday next week and this one I'm going to do now for you all and then I've got a little bobby bargain as well in Asda this hot hand no this wasn't Asda this was Tesco I got these I got a little bobby bargain in Tesco hot hands hand warmers right 25p for these that's a little bobby bargain so they're just right for me for next winter aren't they so <clears throat> what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go away for a few moments try this mask on so you can see how silly i look with the mask and then i'll take the mask off after 10 or 15 minutes and we'll see how it works so i'll be back with you in a little jiffy thank you very much the title monica made me do this may have been an apt one because I look like somebody out of Braveheart right now. Um, as for this um, Poundland mask, um, yeah, uh, it's a little bit thin, so I had to apply it quite liberal, liberal. Uh, ugh, why did you say liberally? Liberal? I can't say the word. Liberally, liberal, uh, ugh, liberally. I had to apply it quite liberally. Liberal. <clears throat> anyway, you know what I'm saying, don't you? I, I had to apply. For, for want of a better flipping word, I had to apply loads of this stuff on me, on me, on me, on me, on me face here, right? I had to apply loads of it. Um, it feels okay. Um, I don't know how good it is going to be on my skin. So we'll, uh, we'll give this a swirly whirly. Um, <clears throat> who's the other person? Oh yeah, uh, Pauline Just Living's doing masking as well. So she's doing her own made, own made masking. So I'll find out her results with egg whites or egg yolks or something. So she's doing one. Monica's always doing some sort of masking. I mean, she's always doing a mask of some description. So I thought, well, I'll jump on the on the bandwagon. So I'm going to wait for this mask, five or ten minutes for this mask to sort of dry off, and then we go from there. And then I'll compare it to the L'Oreal one, which might be, actually, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm going to compare this one. <clears throat> Obviously, the Poundland's pretty good because you've probably got about ten masks in that Poundland one. So let's just say this is a ten pence masking option versus the 60, 70 pence masking option. So we'll see what the difference is between the products. Um, <clears throat> this mask is actually starting to uh, sting a little tiny bit, but not too much, but a little bit, which is a bit scary, but it's probably because it's a pound line mask. So, you know, what can you do? It's as cheap as old chips. So <clears throat> anyway, um, Vicky Louise, if you're going a pound world, this masks in pound world if you want to give it a go might be worth it i don't know right <clears throat> the mask has now dried and it feels really <clears throat> tight on my face i suppose if i left this on for a few weeks maybe it would sort of give me a mini facelift but i doubt it for a pound hmm. anyway i'm gonna go and wash this off now because it's a bit uncomfortable and i'll be back in a jiffy <clears throat> Um, I probably <clears throat> would choose not to use that mask again. 
I found it once it dried it was really really quite it was quite a pain to get off and I didn't feel kind of clean with it on so the Poundland mask was hmm, I give it like that I can't give it a thumbs up or I can't give it a thumbs down but you decide if you go into Pound World any of my UK people see what you think and uh, tell me <clears throat> in a later vlog what you think of it so now I'm going to go and I shall see you on the flip side as Bubba says and thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification button so you can get more of random life productions again thank you for watching and I'll see you later good night <laughs>